is James Mathers at Cinegear Expo 2018. I'm here with uh, David Pringle, the uh, founder of Luminous, uh, the man that's also responsible for lightning strikes and soft sun. Uh, tell us a little bit about the background, uh, David, uh, your background as a gaffer, I believe, right? And how you got into uh, founding this technology? Well, not exactly. I started in the film business uh, in uh, 1965 when I finished college, started working as a camera assistant. Uh, uh, editing assistant, worked in Italy, Rome, Italy uh, for about a year, got drafted for the Vietnam War, uh, was an artillery officer, ended up making training films. Uh, uh, and uh, not long after uh, the Army, I went back to Italy, uh, worked for a while there, worked with uh, Straro on Apocalypse Now, very good okay. experience. Uh, came to the worked in at London for a while. Uh, came to uh, uh, a company in London, Camera Rentals. Uh, came to LA late seventies. Uh, did Steadicam. Oh really? I had uh, no idea. Was involved as a producer on a Charles Bronson film, and uh, that really opened my eyes more to lighting. I always liked lighting, uh, and. Uh, they had a lot of experience with camera stuff. You know, with cameras, you can spend thousands of dollars on little tiny little accessories so the assistant can do, move it, focus this way instead of this way, or this way instead of this way. And, uh, uh, but uh, in production, you're never waiting on camera. You're always waiting on lighting. And, I'm li and the lighting is a bunch of old junk. Man, why come they're spending all that money on camera and nothing on lighting? I'm going to revolutionize lighting. And and what year was that? that? What, what era? That was my. That was uh, early 80s. Okay. And I did uh, the first uh, 12K HMI ballast, worked oh. with uh, Wally Mills on the heads. Uh, and at the time, people said, 12,000 watts? We have 6Ks. What the hell do you need a 12K for? You guys are crazy. <laughs> and uh, one of the early ones exploded on a set ah. in Universal, and they said, that's it, get that thing out of here, we never want to see another 12K l l HMI in our lot again, no more, no more. Well, of course, now there's 18, 24K, the whole thing, and our, our uh, newest light, uh, 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 I heard somewhere that cameras were getting more sensitive, so I thought, <laughs> well, I better make a bigger light. Uh, so we made it 200,000 watt soft wow. sun, <laughs> uh, doubling our previous 100,000 watt. And how big size. is that? It's uh, uh, it's about uh, almost 11 and a half feet long, oh. uh, 400 pounds, uh, but it's you know manageable. Uh, uh, a little bigger than the uh, the tr uh, existing 100 Ks, 320 pounds. Uh, probably 10 feet long or nine and a half uh, and uh, that's been around for a while and well but in all seriousness uh, even though cameras are getting more sensitive um, <clears throat> the Sun is still as strong as it's always been oh yeah and, and what you you're talking about is something that can compete with the Sun yeah so yeah. you can on a bright uh, daylight scene you can uh, fill in with uh, yeah. this electric and when the clouds go over uh, yeah that replaces another the big, sun right uh, 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 on the uh, uh, the Hobbit movie in New Zealand, uh, 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 that was the uh, producer who called in 100 Ks, because uh, uh, there they had a lot of nice sunny weather, then the clouds, and then sun and clouds, and of course every time the clouds come, you got to stop shooting. And he had learned on a previous project that, okay, if I got soft sun there, I can establish some sun and, and, and I can blow through those, that cloud cover and not have to stop and, and save money yeah. uh, and time. So even so. though the uh, cameras are getting more sensitive, uh, there's still a, a need for still big, gotta have, big lights. Yeah, yeah. and the right, got to have the right amount of light in the right place at the right time still. You've also made great strides on uh, flicker. Yeah, avoiding yeah. flicker. Uh, yeah. Tell us about that technology. Well, because we do uh, uh, we, uh, high intensity has been kind of our field for quite a while. Uh, we uh, uh, while back we got involved with uh, 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 industrial car crash testing, uh, military uh, ballistics testing, uh, aviation engine testing with GE. 
and uh, we developed some uh, uh, some of the early LEDs uh, before they were color was really acceptable for film. Mm -hmm. We were working with those for, for crash, test crash didn't testing, matter. So you had the speed, experience, high intensity, uh, uh, and we were able to make very uh, 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 very high wattage, uh, uh, short duration lights for these uh, testing situations uh, and we did some for GE now we have a 1500 watt LED that strobes at uh, 500 Hertz so they can uh, with that strobing they can stop freeze the blade in the turbine engine mm -hmm. uh, if they get the strobe at the right uh, at the right beat right intensity and also flicker of course they're shooting uh, some of them are shooting on well, the military they shoot a million frames a second so they got a, a uh, so we've done a lot of research and, uh, and development on uh, Flickr and, and, and getting, uh, we've got one of the few LED lights uh, that uh, does not flicker when dimmed. Yeah, it's uh, one of the, we couldn't make your lights flicker for anything when we did our, <laughs> our test uh, last year. Uh, tell us about the technology of um, uh, lightning strikes. How did that develop? Well, that developed, uh, 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 Actually, the, that uh, long arc xenon technology uh, came around in the 50s, and people got very excited about it and started going full force and factories springing up, lamps being made, and things going forward for, for, for uh, street lighting, parking lot, or white area lighting. Uh, but uh, just as it was getting traction and moving forward, metal halide lamps came into being and they were uh, simpler cheaper to make smaller the fixtures were smaller lighter uh, but terrible color <laughs> and yeah but for parking lot street yeah. lighting it uh, didn't really matter uh, and uh, so that uh, they took over and the, and, and, and 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 long arc xenon fell by the wayside I say fell by the wayside uh, a few places kept making them and kept doing things. Uh, one of the <clears throat> about 20, what, 25, 30 years ago, I uh, ran across a factory in China. Actually, I was working, uh, doing a film project there, uh, and they were still making the, uh, the long arc. Uh, and I looked at it and thought, well, you know, if I ran this for short duration, I can, uh, I can do a lightning flash. Uh, and the heat won't build up too much, so I can do it with a relatively small. So we did a 70,000 watt lamp about two feet long uh, for one and a half second lightning flashes with dimming capability. And the great thing about it for a lightning flash, you can go from full off to full on and back to full off again in one millisecond. So the response is very, uh, which is the very, way lightning very appears important. to the yeah. eye. Yep. Yeah, because you're not uh, saying, "Hey, we're having a storm now." <laughs> you're 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 doing a dramatic impact yep. to. Uh, 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 so uh, and 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 that uh, then eventually the same technology. Uh, eventually, bought that factory in China, oh. uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, nobody else in the world makes those lamps these days. We're the only ones. And that uh, led to soft sun. That led to soft sun. We said, okay, for this short little lamp, we can run for one and a half seconds. Uh, let's make a 50,000 watt lamp and run it continuous. And that was eight feet long and two inches in diameter and and some fans and uh, <laughs> uh, so. then the hundred thousand and now uh, the two hundred thousand. Recently, that was. Uh, not my fault. I was. I can blame <laughs> that on Linus Sandgren, the Oscar winner for La La Land. He yeah. came along and he said, uh, did a test with some hundred Ks, and yeah, that'll work. I'm getting a pretty good stop here at 600 feet away. <laughs> but uh, hey, can you do a 200,000 watt? I said, well, when do you need it? Said, oh, I don't need it for another month. <laughs> And so we ready dropped in time? everything and then pushed ahead and and then pushed out a 200k for it. He did it on on uh, used it on uh, first man a moonscape mm -hmm. uh, thing and got some. Uh, it is uh, it was the sunlight on the moon. Okay. Uh, 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 on a moonscape, uh, uh, incredible spread. You know, it has the 100 degree wide spread like our mm -hmm. traditional. Uh, 
and it's fun stuff. It's <laughs> exciting uh, to uh, play with light bulbs and, and uh, uh, see what you can do here and do there, and then and, and, and trying to do something to help the uh, creative process for the cinematographer to. Uh, and for the producer to, uh, we do have people using uh, 100Ks uh, uh, as a main light on low budget, uh, uh, short duration films, uh, and uh, claiming that they can work faster, one setup, one light, one, uh, 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 and use it uh, in creative ways for uh, 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 <coughs> Key, fill, and backlight uh, all together uh, with with a nice uh, nice effects, and come around and do a reverse very quickly. Like the sun, you can just have a portable sun. <laughs> yeah, something like that. We yeah. all benefit by all your innovations, and thank you so much. Thanks for giving me the history. Well, thank you for for uh, coming up with the with the society here. <laughs> You're, it's a wonderful service. Uh, it's really nice to 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 have the fellowship of it and and and, and come together uh, doing projects and, and and to get your uh, those emails you send <laughs> out uh, and letting everybody know hey this is going on that's going on here's the latest here and there and there <laughs> come to see this screening and it's very nice thanks Thank thanks you. James that's a great appreciate thing that. you're doing really appreciate it.